The USDA released its January crop supply demand estimates on winter wheat seedings and wheat prices have fell about 40 cents this week. Kim, uh, Kim, in the report there were some good and some bad news in that. Let's, I guess, start with uh, the bad news. Well, the bad news is, is that the USDA uh, lowered the uh, use of uh, wheat for seed uh, by uh, 6 million bushels. They lowered the wheat use for feed by 20 million bushels and they lowered the wheat for exports by 50 million bushels. Of course, this re resulted in them raising the uh, ending stocks from 900 million bushels to uh, 976 uh, million bushels. That's 46% of an average U.S. crop before the combines even start uh, cutting the winter wheat crop this next year. So with more wheat in the, in the bin, lower wheat prices, uh, why would less wheat be used as feed this year? Well, you know, of course, uh, lower wheat prices, you'd expect that, but the USDA also uh, raised the uh, uh, corn production to 13.15 uh, billion bushels, a record corn crop. They uh, raised corn uh, yields from 162 plus uh, bushels per acre to over 165 bushels per acre, and wheat prices fell about uh, 40 to 44 cents. Corn prices fell 48 to 50 cents a bushel. So with cheap, relatively cheap corn, why would you want to feed wheat? So uh, is there any good news? What is the good news, I guess? Well, the good news is, is that uh, the winter wheat producers anticipated the lower prices and reacted to lower prices that they've had uh, since the last few years. Uh, they planted 14% uh, uh, less uh, wheat acres, according to the USDA's estimates. Uh, you can look at uh, hard red winter wheat planted acres down 12%, soft red winter wheat acres down 29%, white wheat acres down 1% and Durham acres in California and Arizona down 29%. So wheat producers are economically savvy. They looked at the cost, they look at the potential price and they just reduced the planted acres. And the USDA is saying this is the lowest number of planted acres since 1913. Uh, that's true, uh, since 1913, but in 1913 the average production was 14 bushels per acre. It's 44 bushels per acre now, so there's a little difference. There. A little bit of a difference. Uh, will this reduced planted acres uh, help prices at all? Well, it's going to help prices, but uh, for all practical purposes, we're not going to see it because, you know, prices fell uh, and they're going to be lower because of the uh, increased uh, uh, stocks. But it will, the reduced acres will keep prices from falling as much as they did. And, and they've had some positive effect. You just can't see it. So for prices to recover, the U.S. needs to see some sort of disaster. Yeah, that's what you think. But uh, before we start cutting our winter wheat crop, uh, Indian's crop uh, will essentially be harvested. China's crop will be 40 to 50 percent harvested and Pakistan's crop will be mostly harvested. Now, India uh, is a using country. Sometimes they import. China is a, is a user. Sometimes they don't. Pakistan's an importer. So if we lose those crops, that could have a positive impact or price. But the U.S. crop is the most important one because it's the first exportable crop. And, and real quick, your price expectations. Well, we're going to watch uh, next week's a critical week. If uh, the Kansas City Board of Trade uh, Chicago, or the Chicago Board of Trade March contracts go below 515, 515, 520, then I think we're going down another oh, 25 or 30 cents. If you're watching the July contracts, that support prices at 535 and 540.